Now we'll discuss the problem on block diagram reduction. In this problem, first we have to reduce the block diagram and find the transfer function. See, this is the problem given here. So this is the block diagram given here. So the first step is that we have to find out which are the blocks are in parallel, which are in the loop. So first we have to clear all inner blocks, inner parallel blocks and inner loops. Then we have to go for outer loops. So here first we just uh, uh, divide this uh, mixer into two parts. So if you divide this mixer into two parts here, see here this uh, one part, this is the one part and this is the other part like this we divide this mixer into two parts. So, so here we have divided that mixer into two parts here. So this is the, f uh, what is that? We have uh, these two blocks are in parallel whereas these two blocks are in feedback. So first we just uh, eliminate these two blocks which are in parallel and uh, remove this feedback path. So if you combine these two blocks which are in parallel, so what is that we will be getting? We will be getting a gain of G2 plus G3. So we get a gain of G2 plus G3 here. Now if you eliminate this feedback path, what is the gain we get? That is the forward path gain G4 divided by 1 plus because here negative sign no. So it is 1 plus the loop gain. What is the loop gain? G4 H1. So it is G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1. So the inner uh, loops are cleared now. So what are the blocks we will be having? G1 the other one is G2 plus G3. The next one is G4 by 1 plus G4 H1. Now what is next one? Next we have to combine all these blocks which are in cascade. Now if you combine all these blocks in cascade. So here you should give bracket here. It is G2 plus G3. So we have to give bracket here. So now combine all the blocks which are in cascade. If you combine what you get here. The what we get here is G1 into G2 plus G3 into G4 whole divided by 1 plus G4 H1. So the same thing we'll be getting here. Just check it. G1 into G2 plus G3 G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1. Now we'll be having this loop no which is having loop gain is equal to 1. So include this loop also. So what we did, we also did this one here. See here, for this loop also, the takeoff point is same. So instead of writing these two combinedly, we have divided this separately. So these two loops we have written separately. So because the same signal is takeoffed, that is why instead of writing uh, same, same on same line, we have written separately. So uh, this will not affect anything. Okay. Now just now we have discussed that it is G1, G2 plus G3 into G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1. Then we have a uh, unity feedback gain. Okay. Now how do you how do you simplify this? This can be simplified by the forward path gain. What is the forward path gain? G1, G2 plus G G3, G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1 divided by since you have minus here it is 1 plus forward path gain into the loop uh, this uh, feedback gain so forward path gain is this thing into 1 what is the feedback here 1 no so into 1 so if you simplify this take lcm on the denominator so in the if you take lcm then we get 1 plus g4 h1 1 plus G4 H1 will get cancelled with 1 plus G4 H1 here. So what we'll be having in the numerator? It is G1 into G2 plus G3 into G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1 plus G1 G into G2 plus G3 into G4. Now what is the transfer function? Transfer function will be output divided by input. So it is C of S by R of S is equal to this is the block. This is the block we got it as transfer function that is G1 into G2 plus G3 into G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1 plus G1 into G2 plus G3 into G4. So like this we have to solve the problems. Thank you.